Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. I don't know why we always do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much more fun. It is. Speaking of fun, we're back at the RV. Ta-da. First off, we have a huge announcement, you guys. Announcement time. Maybe you remember last year, we had this epic group trip planned to Columbia. It was all set in stone. It was all ready to go. And then something happened. I can't remember what it was. What happened last year? World. COVID. Ugh. COVID struck, we had to cancel, sadly. And a lot of you have been asking if we are gonna do another group trip. It's never felt the, like the right time. But then we were like, what about next year? Mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out exactly where we wanna go. Um, so we actually put together a little survey that is going to be linked to on the screen right now, also in the description, that you guys can go to if you're interested in mm -hmm. coming along with us on a trip somewhere in this amazing world of ours. So we're not 100%, we're, we're not 100% sure Sorry, where we're- it's too okay. <laughs> Hundred <laughs> percent. We're not one hundred percent sure where we want to go, which is why we need your help. But I think we are leaning to towards Southeast Asia and potentially Mexico. Yeah, but there are a bunch of countries listed on the form, so just let us know where you guys are most yeah. interested in going with us. You guys, we just completed a project that we are more proud about than a lot of the other work that we've done on this <laughs> RV. It's this thing right here. If you guys remember, this area had like a little bumped out bit of plastic that was all completely it, it destroyed. It was really broken and really nasty. Yeah. We thought we were gonna be able to salvage it or put it back together. That was not the case. Yeah. So we have been racking our brains for a long time trying to figure out what to do with this and really just been putting the project off. We ordered this stuff called Phylon, which is like a type of fiberglass. And once we got it and tried to mess with it, it was really brittle, seemed really hard to work with. We weren't yeah. sure how to properly adhere it here. So we threw that stuff out. Not really, it's just over there waiting for another project. Yeah. <laughs> what we really wanted to do was put some raw wood on the outside of this thing, but we were a little scared to do that for various reasons, which we're gonna get into later. Mm -hmm. But we overcame our fears, you guys, and we and did we it. we did it. Check it out. And it's so beautiful. We're still gonna walk you guys through the process and show you how we did this. Then we just have a bunch of miscellaneous projects that we still have to get done to get this thing road ready. It's just mm -hmm. a lot of stuff we, that's kind of mundane that we've been putting off, like fixing the lights on the outside, some of the wiring on the inside still needs to be done, all yeah. that good stuff. But enough chatting, let's show you how we made these babies. So the hardest part of this project and the reason we thought maybe it wouldn't work at all is because we really wanted to conform to this curve. But as you guys can see, there's a lot of weird little bump outs and then there's extra little crevices. It goes like way up in the top and curves under at the bottom. So our process was first to use plywood. We cut a general shape and then just kept cutting back with a jigsaw until we could get this to sit up in there. So once we got that, we would then take this, trace it onto the wood. Once we had all of our pieces cut and we knew that they all fit together and covered top to bottom, we figured it was easier to stain it off of here than installing it and trying to stain it after the fact. Then from there, we just put them on one by one, screwed them in and kept going, making sure that our angles still lined up as we went down. That was definitely the hardest part, but we ended up doing a pretty dang good job, I would say. You guys, check out how nice this line turned out. Oh. We ended up using uh, tape. So we taped off this whole thing with blue painter's tape mm -hmm. on both sides, then put this brown sealant on there that blends in with the color of the wood. And then we took the tape off and we had this beautiful line. Before we put the cedar siding on, we waterproofed all that with waterproof tape. Uh, just so, just in case water does get behind this, it's not gonna rot out the wood. And this is all stainless steel hardware, which is uh, very rust resistant. So hopefully we won't get too much rust on these screws. We used a stain that is for house siding that's semi-transparent, which means some of the wood shows through, but it also stains it this nice brown color that we chose. The other reason we were hesitant to use wood is because as you're driving, obviously things can kick up from the road and hit this. But we figure if this gets damaged and a little weathered, it's just gonna give it more character. So it's really not that big of a deal. Also, let's say you put metal or plastic here, that's gonna get hit by a bunch of crap too and probably look a lot worse. So I feel like a lot of you are gonna tell us that this is a horrible idea, but it's an experiment. <laughs> we'll be the guinea pigs. We'll see yeah. how it goes. But y'all, I just love it. It's, a, it's like a, a 70s log cabin on the outside. Yeah. I mean, look at the vibe that <laughs> it gives so it. It's ridiculous. super unique, right? Yeah. So I'm much... calling it a success though. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm a little more excited than I realized. One project we've been putting off is replacing our final marker lights. Look at how nasty these things are. Oh yeah. I think that's all like bug nest residue. Check this out. <laughs> ah, <laughs> They're brand new. so much prettier. No gunk in there. These are actually really easy to come by on Amazon. They get great reviews and uh, they're super cheap. We bought like 20 of them because that's how many we had to replace. Yeah. Oh man, these are gonna look so much nicer. Look at that. Ah. Moment of truth, 
All the new lights have been installed, so now I'm rehooking up the battery. We'll see if they actually turn on. All right, about to pull the lights. Did it work? No, they're not working. No way. Just kidding. Oh man. <laughs> it did work. <laughs> did they really? Yeah, of course. Yes. You did a great job. Yay, I did it. Nice job, you did it. I did it, my first real wiring job on my own at least that high five didn't have as much energy the oh, last yeah. time there you oh, go oh shoot wait elbow so i think we're going to call it a day um we actually have some special plans for dinner we're going to go get cleaned up and then we're going to head over to matt's house and we're going to hang out with him tonight so we'll see you guys there oh hello hello oh, look who it is welcome <laughs> we brought box wine nice go, thank you <laughs> So our plan tonight is to cook. We're gonna have ourselves a little movie night. Do you remember what movie we watched last night? Last time you loved uh, it, right? Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, <laughs> Mortal Kombat too. Best movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Go watch that and report back. <laughs> Do, don't actually watch it. It's horrible. Y'all, we just got our next HelloFresh delivery, and we just wanted to give them a huge thank you for sponsoring this video and supporting our crazy, crazy, endless, and endless RV renovation. <laughs> I personally love when we get these shipments because that means we do not have to go to the store, I don't have to figure out dinner, plus they're super flexible so we can easily change out our delivery days or our food preferences, and since their average meal only takes 30 minutes to make, we don't have to spend hours cooking. But before we get cooking, we should probably slip into something a little bit more appropriate. Well, that's not right. Well, we're going to call this one close enough. <laughs> so if you haven't heard of HelloFresh, they offer delicious seasonal recipes in a box delivered right to your door. They give you all the ingredients you need ready to be crafted into a culinary masterpiece. Let's see what's inside. We have shrimp spaghetti with a kick. Oh, my oh yeah. Gosh. And crispy Cajun chicken sandwiches. Can we start cooking? Yeah. Yes. Let's start cooking. Look what we made. Oh my word. It's a culinary masterpiece. This sandwich literally looks like something that would be served to you at a restaurant. Yeah. And it's stuff that I <laughs> never would have come up with. If you would like to try HelloFresh for yourself, you can head to HelloFresh.com, use the code ENDLESSADVENTURE12, and you're gonna get up to 12 free meals, including free shipping. Can you imagine all the deliciousness? And we can recommend, you guys, we get so excited when the box oh arrives. I mean, look at this, so it looks good. incredible. I'm trying to convince Matt to watch Dude, Where's My Car? It's probably gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're watching. Dude, Where's My Car? And then we'll see you guys back at the RV, I guess. Yeah, bon appetit. I use the power of the continuum transfunctioner to banish you to hold over the chest. <laughs> Paramore is the uh, band of choice today. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> better turn that off though. <laughs> Whoa, no! So like we said, we have a bunch of little miscellaneous projects that uh, we have to get done. One of them is this. So we already <laughs> did all this nice gutter trim up there. We ended up not having quite enough to run the whole length of the RV. Look how short we were. <laughs> yeah, that's just some dumb measuring on our part, or maybe lack of measuring. <laughs> dumb measuring, that's that's about right. Dumb measuring. Um, come on over here. You can actually find all this kind of stuff online. So this is the gutter trim, but what we found that when you buy these kinds of RV parts, the odds of them being broken in transit are about 50%. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so anything you buy like this that comes in a tube, 50% chance it's gonna come out like this. <laughs> We're gonna try to get a refund or a discount or something, but we're still gonna use this because luckily for us, we only need about a section yay big. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. Now. mask for this. Look at all this nasty crud, you guys. I think there were actual creatures living in this thing. Oh my God. Ugh. I'm glad we're replacing this. <laughs> These have uh, run their course. Oh my. Y'all, they definitely had some freeloaders in here. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez. There's definitely like leftover bug nest stuff. Gross. Whatever we do here, we're gonna seal it a, a lot better. What you working on? 
Oh, hey there. <laughs> Look what I just finished, you guys. So we built this little box uh, to hold our shore power inlet. So this little box sits right here. And then when you open this door, this door was built into the RV. So we wanted to make it actually functional. So we built this little box here. It goes right there. And then when you open the door from the outside, you see this beautiful little power outlet that you can plug into to get your 30 amp shore power service. All right, shore power installed. One more thing to knock off the to-do list. I don't know about you guys, but I am just enjoying this spring weather. Oh, oh it's so lovely. nice. It's actually pouring snow right now. What the heck is what happening? happening? <laughs> Y'all, when we left this morning, it was 60 and sunny. Yeah, it's a winter storm. <laughs> I thought we were done with this crap. This is wild. This is not what I was expecting no, to happen. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think any of this stuff is supposed to freeze or accumulate. Uh, and I actually, don't want, it is? we do have a freeze warning overnight. Oh no, I don't want to go through all that ice again. Oh, that was miserable. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this is stupid. I'm over it. Oh, get me inside. We actually have one last wall panel that we have to put up and it's this awkward thing <laughs> and the reason we've had to wait is because we still hadn't finalized our wiring we still had to run stuff through the wall it had to run through this cabinet so it's kind of the last thing we had to do <laughs> yeah and don't judge me it's not my prettiest work either with this yeah. wall panel but at this point we're just like <laughs> get it up we'll fix the issues later we got to get this thing done man Ta-da! And just like that, all of our main walls are covered. Yes. I mean, obviously there's a lot of patching, patchwork to do and we're gonna paint, which will be the next interior project, but we're done with the interior for a second. We have a fun project outside to work on. So let's head up to the roof and we'll show you what's coming up next in our next video. That's right. Our next project is resealing this roof. Oh my God. It's a shaking. <laughs> it's shaking so much. <laughs> The camera's close to the end. I'm scared it's gonna fall. Yeah. Luckily, the roof is fairly sturdy now because we have all the interior walls up. Beforehand, it was a little dicey walking up here. Yeah. <laughs> but that's right. We have to tackle this monstrosity. So yucky. Which, the roof was in okay condition when we first got the RV, but it was a little bit leaky. Uh, I didn't trust any of the seals up here, so we basically redone everything. But there still are a few seams that we have to fix, and then what we're gonna do is put a whole coat of this RV formulated rubber membrane that goes on as a liquid and it's basically gonna cover this whole thing, make it watertight. It's gonna be like a brand new roof up here. Yes, but before we can start that fun project, we gotta get rid of this monster. Oh yeah. Which is our 100 plus pound old AC unit. So our genius plan is to use this hoisting mechanism to get it <laughs> off of here. Are we gonna die? Who knows? We considered creating like two by fours or a rail system or something like that, but I'm thinking this is actually gonna be the easiest way. We have a nice heavy duty strap, but we're gonna save this for our next video. So you guys will see if we're gonna crash and burn or drop this clear off the roof. And also maybe <laughs> that'll give us a second to like think through what we're doing, yeah. what we've done in our lives, get our wills in order. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. I feel like I could literally swing off of this, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> But that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I know it ended up just being kind of a bunch of random little projects, but that's what was on our to-do list down there. So that's the stuff we had to finish up. Yo. And once the roof is done, this thing is basically road ready. Yeah, and I'm so happy to see more to-do list items done than left to do. Yeah, it's a good it feeling. A very good feeling. Yeah, and then after we're done with the roof, it's gonna be on to painting, and then we're gonna get our engine work done, and then we're gonna be adventuring before you know it. Oh my gosh. The open road, instead of the closed-in garage that we live in right now. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, adventures. We'll see you on the road.